is for the first time we're given the key to existing within the heart of the art. Today I'm going to talk about how I created a world encompassing Dr. Alison Jolly, celebrating her life and achievements in virtual reality for the Unfinished Business Exhibition. <laughs> When I first started researching about Dr. Alison Jolly, 
Um, she first shone out to me through her love for lemurs, which I have shared ever since I was a kid. I had a bunch of lemur toys, which were my absolute fave, and I carried one in particular around with me everywhere. I was just so captivated by their bright amber eyes and really striking tails. I could just watch them all day. Then through talking with Margreta, for the first time hearing about Alison from a daughter's perspective, I was absolutely inspired by her pioneering conservation work, her creativity, I mean what was it? To create this piece, I used the painting software Tiltbrush, which allows me to paint in 3D space. For the VR performance especially, I used mixed reality technology, um, which basically means I use a little bit of green screen magic to put my physical person inside the virtual space. It ends up looking like this. It gives the illusion I am actually inside a virtual simulation, which is actually pretty cool. The world I created is formed of two sets. Alison's study, also known as her spiritual home, and Brenty, which we see through a photo frame in Alison's study. These locations were so special to Alison that I just had to paint them both. I painted some leaves creeping through the frame to reflect how Brenty was always with Alison. Even though she was in her study, it was always in her heart. These leaves in the piece were shown to me by Margreta from Alison's collection, and I was just in awe. Such a beautiful photograph. I think it really shows the nurture in nature, and it's just a real cute glimpse into the societal structure of these primates. Hanta Rasami Manana, Alison's best friend, is also present with her in Berente. Hanta first met Alison in 1983, born and raised in Antananarivo, Recently, she had the honour of being dubbed Madagascar's Lima Lady by the television channel CNN. But probably more important is her knighthood of Malagzit National Order and a new master's degree in primate conservation. It would have been wrong to not include Hanta in Berente with Alison. The bond they had was very special and I really wanted to highlight that. I thought I'd put this little Lima sunbathing here just to sort of subtly hint at light coming off Hanta. Even just through talking with Hanta over email, I got a huge sense of light that she just exudes. And I could tell she was an absolutely huge light in Alison's life. Here we have the entrance to the reserve in Berenti, which I know meant a lot to Alison and everyone. It was awesome to collaborate with the band Villon Android led by Nofisoa Jonari Androi Sergi, who was born in Madagascar in 1974. With his group, he has performed in South Korea, Mauritius, France, and Ivory Coast. This song is called Pilake. I've decorated around the space with typical Malagzi flora. Madagascar is one of the world's largest natural jewels. Did you know that over 90% of Madagascar's flora and fauna are only found on the island and nowhere else? It's just fascinating. So many different textures and shapes not seen anywhere else in the world. Made for some really interesting performance moves. I also included some of the flora close to Alison. From talking with Margreta, I heard that Alison's study overlooked her beautifully tended garden, and she even had some binoculars on her desk so she could keep watch for winged visitors. It really was a joy to create this piece, and it felt like such an honor to bring to life Alice and Jolly's world.
Mami, mami, 